Leicester stand at the door of yet another league campaign. The overwhelming question being, of course, how ready are they? It's a great time to be a fan. Smiles are beaming, expectations are up. They've been deprived of the game during the off-season. It feels like an eternity. New hopes, new faces, but the same old game. That match-day feeling is well and truly back. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. So everybody starts on nothing. Last season is in the past, we are all equals. Well, with star names and new faces, both on the pitch and on the bench, let's hope for a, a more attractive, competitive and unpredictable league. Uh, a better product for all to see, although I'm beginning to think that we're asking for the impossible. We'll get lots to analyse and debate, come what may as ever. And this ought to get us off to a busy start. I've been waiting for this quite a while, and I know you have too, Peter. So, here we go. And already we're underway here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Thiago Alcantara. He's someone who can really control the game from midfield. He's got a sensational range of passing. He's got wonderful vision too. He's no doubt been tasked with creating opportunities for the front players, and he's certainly got all the skills needed to do just that. They'll be expecting a good supply. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Hit long and direct. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Tielemans. Johnny Evans goes looking. Van Dijk. Gomez. Jordan Henderson. Thiago. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. And it's Fuchs. Fuchs switches it towards the other side. He's got options out wide. Neat exchange. Some good stubborn defending there. Robertson demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Vardy never really looked sure of what he was doing, and by holding on to it for so long, he duly lost it. Tielemans. Madison. Madison! And the keeper barely had to move. Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. Sanchu. Neither side yet able to find the net. Sanchu. Tielemans. Feinaldum. Jota. Just brushed off the ball there. Keeper sends it forward. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Gomez does well to read it and intercepts. And it's Vinaldum. Thiago. That's great strength on the ball. Jordan Henderson. Alexander Arnold. Perez. Tielemans. Now it's Perez. 
And it's played forward. Mane. Feinaldum. Still waiting for the first goal. Now it's Perez. Alexander Arnold. Plays it over to the other flank. Vinealdum. Kasper Schmeichel catches it safely. And it's Perez. That's a terrific surge down the right. Vardy. Madison. And here's Vardy. Now it's Pe it's Perez. Thiago. Jordan Henderson. Salah. Jota. Mohamed Salah. And the whistle goes for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least defensively. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Here we go again, then. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped lots of effort but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical shot a goal and he's done it well that's what the top players do the ability to seize the initiative at crucial times in the game and now this second half has a completely different outlook Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. Forward it goes. Over to the left. Whipped in. Robertson with the clearance. It'll be a throw-in. And it's Fuchs. Ndidi. Fardy! And yes, it's there! Leicester grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Good idea, just poorly executed.
Henderson. And here's Roberto Firmino. Tielemans drives it forward. Looking to break out here. Ricardo Pereira. It remains 1-1 with about a quarter of the game to play. Tielemans. Perez. Here it is now, surely! A chance to play it in. That's a look and place it in. Mane. Mane plays it forward. And it's Mane. Tielemans. Alexander Arnold. Henderson. And here's Mane. Played out to the right. Chance to cross. Great lead! It's come back out! He's been up try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried there. And we are going to see a change. Robertson tries to get it forward quickly. Played into space out wide. Cleared without complication. And it's Vardy. Now it's Perez. Always about it. Needs to be very careful now. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Fence has got rid of that. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Jordan Henderson. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Perez. Tielemans. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. And here's Mane. Robertson looks to... Up to meet it! And that's a real chance missed. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead there. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. Still anyone's game this, one moment can decide it. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go-for-it territory right now. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Liverpool making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Robertson. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Oh, well intercepted, really alerts the danger. 
Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Robertson pings it in. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And it's Henderson. He's there to receive it. This could fall anywhere. It's Shakiri. That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. And the referee brings it to a close. Leicester take a point there. All things considered, a pretty good point. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Of course, winning starts are, are clearly more preferable, but both sides can take some satisfaction from avoiding defeat and, and maybe go one step further next time. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.